So let's leave the first number as zero, and let's change the second number to plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four. So if we take a look at what this is doing, he's using an item, he's using the shovel, and when he uses it... Ryan with Code Ninjas, we have four locations, Code Ninjas Fleming Island, Bay Meadows, Ponte Vedra, and World Golf. Kids have fun, parents see results. And we teach children how to code between the ages of five and 15 through a variety of programs. The first one being Create, which is our nine belt program. They'll start with the basics at white belt. By the time they get to black belt, they've learned JavaScript, C Sharp, and are able to code and build their own video games or applications. And then we have juniors, for those not quite ready with a lower reading comprehension, but really want to get ahead in their school, it's a great way to learn the coding concepts. And then we offer special programs like summer camps and events throughout the year to uh, help tailor education to meet the needs of parents and ninjas alike. Opposite direction. I really fell in love with the Code Ninjas concept. I think it mixes a few things really well. One, it's a really strong curriculum. Two, they do it in a way that's very fun. So kids can learn to code anywhere nowadays, but our curriculum uh, uses the martial arts system, white belt to black belt. It provides a reward system that's tangible and in consistent intervals that help uh, kids achieve their goals. I feel like this one should be over here. So I think we're missing something right there. When you walk out our dojo, you're prepared for that. Whether you want to be a developer, a coder, a product manager, a business leader, you develop the tangible and tactical skills to develop and code, while you also develop those intangible skills to be able to think critically, solve problems, and build logic. Our senseis are truly experts in what they do. We bring in folks from some of the best schools and uh, with high quality experience in, in computer science, product management, and, and other business functions. When he uses two different ones, he's filling an entire area. Embarrassing enough, I did not get my first computer until I was a freshman in college. And you think about how the world has changed in the last 40 years. We now have children that are experiencing technology as young as one as their parents provide them the cell phone to view a video game or a cool little cartoon. These children now at three, four, five years old know more about technology than we do as parents. But what's more important is that we're able to help them understand how technology should work and then how they can build on those skill sets to be better prepared for the future. This is the money chart for us. It shows us our drive distance, five minutes, 10 minutes, and 15. As we were growing our business, uh, it becomes something where you need experts looking outside and helping you understand what's going on in the environment. And so uh, after I met Christian, our business advisor, we sat down and explored what the SBDC could do for us. And they've really helped us grow over the last four years in a strategic manner, help us understand the business climate, understand our market demographics, and ultimately help us make better investments so we could grow in the right areas. Over the last three years, we have went from one location to four locations, and we couldn't have done that without the expertise and advisement. So I've truly developed a trusted advisor relationship with the SBDC. They're there as we need them, um, and they're there to provide us advice as we need it. They're super flexible, and we have shared interests to make sure that the business community is successful. And as a small business owner, having someone in your corner to help you make those right decisions is huge. You should reach out to the SBDC and see what they have to offer you, whether it's financial support, whether it's building your business network, whether it's sitting down and helping you write a plan, they have the resources and talent to help you get further. Truly and most importantly, as a small business owner, you have cost all around you, whether it's setting up a website, starting your marketing, finding a bank and financing, all of those things end up having extra costs. The SBDC is free, it's a huge help, and in many cases, they can provide you key services that you may normally have to pay for. Hey. Oh. Needs more pressure. Needs more pressure almost, right? Needs to be right? hulked. Be hulked. Let's see, is there any piece we could potentially add to this, do you think? Like an extra piece on the An extra piece right here? Let's see. 